Chest Expander Workout for your upper body. We are going to train our back, traps, shoulders, triceps, biceps and core. All that with only four exercises. Let's get started. Chest expansion. If you own a chest expander, then you probably know this one. Simply spread the device across your chest, do three to five sets of 10 to 12 reps. It's a compound exercise since it works so many muscles all at once. The back, rear deltoids, triceps and traps are all targeted by this single exercise. And therefore it's a great way to start this workout. You can, if you want, hold the contraction in your back at the end of the last rep for seven to 10 seconds to make each set a little bit more challenging. And of course, to get you those isometric strength gains. So here is a full demonstration. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. I'm gonna hold it for seven seconds. Three, four, five, six, seven. Three to five sets of those. Expander bicep curl. So what you gotta do is hook one of your handles of your device under your feet. Like this. Okay? Ensure that the handle cannot slip away you want to ensure that it stays in place. Okay, so this should not shoot loose at any point during your exercise, okay? From there on out, it's very simple. You curl your device like a dumbbell. As you can see, you really want to keep your back straight and just curl. Do that for 10 to 12 reps for three to five sets. At the end, of each set, if you want to, you can hold it for seven to 10 seconds. Three to five sets, meaning three to five sets for each arm, of course. So three to five sets for your left arm, three to five sets for your right arm, okay? So let me give you a full demonstration. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four, five, six, six and a half, seven. This is a great way to follow up the first exercise as this one works more of the front of the body instead of the back. You'll mostly use the biceps and a bit of the front deltoids and chest. Expander woodcutter. Time to train the core. Lock your device behind a door handle or attach it with a clip to a solid foundation like a pole or a pull-up bar. Whatever you do, make sure that whatever the expander is locked on cannot under any circumstance break off. Do not use a door handle if you are not sure if said door handle can take the resistance of the chest expander. Remember, always take safety before gains. You can also ask a friend to hold the handle as it makes for a great isometric exercise for the other person. If you cannot find anything to hook your device on, you can use your foot. Same as with the expander bicep curl that I showed earlier. This works but it's not as effective. So here's the exercise. Again, lock the device and make woodcutter motions as if you're cutting down a tree with an ax. Let all the strength come from your core. Go for three to five sets with 10 to 12 repetitions on each side, making it a total of six 
to 10 sets. Very effective core exercise, I love it. Great replacement for a cable machine in this regard. If you want, you can hold the last rep for 7 to 10 seconds. At least if that is what you prefer. So this is how you do the exercise while locking the device to, for example, the door. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and this is how you do the exercise when you hook the device under your foot. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ensure that you always keep your stomach contracted, but for the last rep, if you want, you can hold an isometric contraction as an extra. Always important to keep your core contracted during core exercise. It really makes a big difference. The other side. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four, five, six, seven. Expender lower back. I don't really have a name for this one, let's just call it the expender deadlift. Hook your devices with previous exercise, hold the handle with both hands and move backwards from your glutes or like this. Try to keep your back straight, that's the most important. You should feel a powerful contraction in your lower back. Very effective exercise and less demanding for your joints. At least the most alternatives for the same muscle group. 3 to 5 sets, 10 to 12 reps, hold the last rep for 7 to 10 seconds. And this is how you do the exercise while you are using a door handle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four, five, six. Seven. I don't have the best range of motion here, as you can tell. Like this little thing here for all my uh, stuff like my phone. Anyway, this is how you do the same exercise when you anchor the device under your foot. So like this. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's the chest expander workout. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other workouts on the Power Twister, the Bullwalker, the Iso Bow, and Iso Flow. I got plenty to share. Also, my free ebook, 50 Awesome Bullworker Questions, can be downloaded through the link in the description below. It is my gift to you. If you are more interested in learning about nutrition, then check out my videos on Boron. Consider to donate by clicking the link in the description. It helps me with the channel and it ensures better and more frequent content. Again, thanks for watching and have a nice day everyone.